<laughs> All right, so look, so I know that y'all are collective, Vibes Collective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How often do y'all see each other? Like, is this like a, because the way you speak is like y'all go like time periods without running into each other or mm -hmm. do you like, do y'all? Um, We do have time periods when we're not running into each other, but that's mainly just because everybody, like Thrizzy super busy, but we still work. We got the retreats coming up. We got a lot of shows coming up. Um, like we're, I done told Thursday we need to get into podcasting and, mm -hmm. and just like work networking with other people. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like we, we still getting out there. We still link up. Um, I just seen Thursday the other day and we shot uh, a skit for a movie. Oh, for, that's uh, dope. Spencer Wolf actually. Okay. Yeah. We got together, rehearsed. It took us like a, an hour to like create us, like take the skit he gave us, remake it to like, it sounded like us mm -hmm. yeah. and then to rehearse it and know it without even looking at the script. How long have y'all known each other, you and Thrizzy? Probably three, four years max. Because y'all chemistry is good together. What's the uh, that Thrizzy video where they wake up in the, <laughs> in the car? In the car. Yeah. <laughs> way up. Yeah, way, way up. up. Yeah, I said, bro, if, they, lie, if they don't come out with a bud hippie, man, I, I, movie, help, so. I help, I help, I help write some of that. The second verse, like, yeah, he he was like, Jai, bro, I need some help. I'm like, you know what, I'm I'm about to come in here. Oh, and that's, yeah, and I'm like, I'm like a part of the whole process of making the way up. You feel me? We just sat down. Like Learned came up with a video day. together. Day. That's you one know, of my favorite Thrizzy. Song. I write songs. Yeah, Thrizzy helped me write favorite. shit, nigga. He be helping me come up with motherfucking Dean. I know I don't know if y'all know who Dean is dead. Like, y'all know who that is? No, I ain't him. All right, so I seen he 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 do he is he a part of the collective? Yeah, he's a part of the collective. Um, right I now he got a, a kid. Songs. He got a kid, so he kind of like chilled out for a yeah, minute. Yeah, chilled out for a minute. But that's what you're supposed to do when you. Hey, paternity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this his we first? One his too. first. Is his first child? Start oh, yeah, that's yeah, what you're supposed to do. It's understood. Hey, paternity. World stop. But like <laughs> we we turned him into like I want you to imagine like without even listening to his music I want you to imagine Eminem turning into Ed Sheeran like that's what we did to Dean he went from a rapper to a pop star like the three of us got together and was like let's just put our minds into making art got you it don't matter whose song it is we just gonna put all our minds in it hmm. and that's like that's really fire. I like that the strength of the collective. Is is that just that? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm not writing my music by myself. Sometimes y'all hear all these bars that Java have in his music, bro. It could be a Aki. I, my homie Aki could have helped me come up with that bar. Yeah. You feel that, me? So y'all got a like team. a y'all got a think tank. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a dope. lot of people dope be like, dope. man, fuck songwriters, man. Y'all y'all yeah. be having ghostwriters. It's like la nah, bro. But my mind is good. Aki's mind is good. But imagine two good minds together yeah bro. but not only that they tell him don't get it fucked up like i can't pull this pen out <laughs> yeah and, get you the, feel and me? put that work in yeah it was a verse here before this nigga came through you yeah, feel me? Sure. He just said do you can say this bar better or, yeah know, you feel me kind of, I, I, and i can picture like the dungeon family them studio sessions would be okay. something like yeah, that okay, you see what i'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, yeah for sure yeah yeah, that's what the retreats is is like too you know we supposed to um around about that retreat <laughs> Uh, he don't mind about like, it. We I supposed to uh, get in there so we could like. Um, Y'all gotta come to the next one. Yeah, I'm hip to it. Y'all have to. We keep that's what Thrizzy said. I ain't trying to say too much, but the next one is the one. That's yeah. the one. Is it location alone? So like this. All right, we'll talk about it. Tap when in. Came. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Respectful. We'll yeah, start putting a little out. couple dollars towards that now. Yeah, we yeah, we, yeah, we, we gotta right. really do it though, cause yeah, fact, we supposed bro, to be like two. We've already been locked in. Yeah, on the flyer talking about we coming like. We not even, we supposed to be talking about it like yeah this next one yeah, <laughs> yeah. we well, supposed, we're to, be, supposed yeah. to go we're up supposed to be like, talking about it like we there yeah so look uh, of course you are who you are now and you're part of the Vibes Collective but you've been jive way before Vibes Collective was ever um, even formed you know what I mean so we really want to get into the history of you and what you've been up to to get you to this point you feel me so. Um, because I don't know if you know when me and you first originally met, but I met you years ago. I used to be a part of Buku Entertainment. Uh, Buku and Huber. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I remember you and one of your partners came Eric. up there, and y'all were showing us your videos. And I think the first video I saw from you is the video where you ended up getting shot in the grocery store. You got the... um. The sign outside and this and it's like a speed yeah, up. And that shit was some of the hardest shit. Like for, especially for that time in music, you was like way ahead of the curve. Like creatively, you see what I'm saying? Even though me and Eric 
we like we don't see eye to eye anymore, bro. I ain't gonna lie, he was one of the most creative motherfuckers I got blessed to work with. Yeah. He just like with the video, mm-hmm. he just was like a step ahead. Yeah. He was Cole Bennett before Cole Bennett. Was Cole you Bennett. You know what I mean? Like he was just on that shit mm-hmm. like way before everybody else. So like I kinda had an edge. I had good music, you know, but like with a good visual, your music gonna sound better. You feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah. Eric Definitely. really turned my music up by giving me these insane visuals. Like, okay. So what happened? That was love. Like, I mean, <laughs> we just went our different ways. Uh he moved to Florida. I went down there with him. But I had a child on the way, so mm-hmm. I ended up having to come back, and we just went our separate ways. But like, I just wanted to be a father more than I mm-hmm. wanted to paternity do anything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to be a father. Wait, you know? Paternity yeah. leave is a real thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For yeah. men, yeah, as well. But yeah, man. Uh, visuals. I've always been on top of it with my visuals. Just as, that's kind of why it takes me so long to drop a music video because mm-hmm. I, I want the next best thing. You put so much yeah. into them. I want the next best thing, so it's just like that's why it's, it just takes me a long time to like drop visual projects. But now, this year, I'm not not fucking around. I'm just gonna I'm gonna start you know spending bread with the niggas in the city. You feel me? Prince visuals. I done already got a video shot by him. I'm a shot with Donnie. I'm a yeah. shot with you feel me? Um, what's the name? Peso. You feel yeah. me? I just want to shop around with different people and just like network to put my projects together. I feel like that's gonna bring more people in the city to fuck with me and also i do so much that i really don't have the time to put in my music videos so if mm-hmm. I, the time that i do use to put on music videos if somebody else could take that time and edit my music videos while i was doing something else mm-hmm. it's gonna be way more beneficial so i'm just gonna have to way more productive too. yeah it's gonna i gotta spend some money but that's cool because i'm keeping the money in the city Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like we and working and we trading. Not to mention, I mean, shit. The names you name, you you definitely spending it wisely. You know, you what feel me? So you going to the right? Yeah, if I'm gonna spend real. it, it's gotta be. Yeah, it gotta yeah, make sense. It gotta be one of them. Gonna get yeah. the quality. Mm-hmm. Dope and, I, and I like that uh, the fact that you were talking about spreading around using different uh, videographers or whatever mm-hmm. uh, for your projects, uh, due to the fact each videographer has a own, has their own different <laughs> uh, eye. Uh, how they, you know what I'm saying, critique and do things or whatever. So it gives a different angle of your music, is it, so to speak. They yeah. got different style. And they yeah. have their own shit. fan base. So, and yeah. they got their own and, fan and, base. And it, so it broadens, it broadens his, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then that's a, for real, That's how a lot of uh, relationships get um, built and founded, you know what I'm saying? Because now it's like, damn, this one, like, for whatever reason, I did do videos with everybody else, but me and dude's videos just be... Off the chain, so now yeah. y'all get chemistry the, is yeah, crazy. Chemistry gets you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So me and Prince, respectful. we work real well together. I'm shout like, out to my nigga Prince, yeah, man. Shout out to Prince, bro. He honestly, like he Prince worked great with everybody he, though. Yeah, he, do, he, he do. just know what he doing for real. He do. Um, I haven't really got the chance to work with anybody else, but I know for sure. Like I'm about to work with Donnie. Uh, I got a song specifically that I want to do with him. Um, but I think this this year I want to focus on networking more with the people in the city. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like step out more because I was really in my shell the entire time I've been an artist and didn't even realize it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm trying to come differently this year. Is there anybody that you um, specifically want to work with that you probably haven't had a chance to yet? Mm. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got a features with almost anybody and everybody. So I think I do want to work with, I want to work with Jada Wright. Uh, mm-hmm. I think. I think that's just like a cornerstone of of dating that just needs to be met eventually. Mm-hmm. 